Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will take a look at and review the Joy Room Podix. Now this right here is a very impressive 140 watt five port GAN charger. Now here's a few things I love about it so far. First off, you have the animated screen. So there's animations that'll be able to play as you're charging your devices. There's a couple other screens you can take a look at, which is the total power or the total wattage that is charging all of your devices or you can go to the individual screen, breaking down which device is charging at what wattage. Now, I also like the fact that it has all of the charging standards you're looking for. So this way you're not going to overcharge or have any type of issues if you're trying to charge a watch or the square or a tablet, a phone, and even a laptop where you have two different ones you can use to charge a laptop. You have this retractable cable and both of these have a retractable cable of 80 centimeters. Now, the other thing I like about this is the portability. So you can put this anywhere in your home or take it with you traveling as we did for Thanksgiving and Black Friday. And this one right here definitely came in clutch because my wife was not able to find the specific USB type C power supply to charge her work laptop. This we had to open up, which is why it's all opened so that we could take it with us when we were traveling. So we were able to use it firsthand before I was even able to test it. And I think my wife is gonna steal this from me. Now let's take a look at some of the power supplies and some of the power delivery and all of the different charging solutions and protocols, because it, it, this is where it kind of gets really important for me. So it has the PD 3.1, which means power delivery. This is where you have that fixed voltage. This is where if you plug it in and if something has to charge at 18 Watts, it'll go at exactly 18 Watts. If it has to go at 20 or 22, it'll be at, at exactly that. Or if it has to only go at five Watts. You also have PPS, which is that programmable power supply. So this is where it's able to actually change and adjust the voltage and current in real time. So this way it can do it in smaller increments as well, and also give a greater efficiency and also put out less heat. So that's exactly what PPS and also GAN technology does. So it's able to power fast charging and also use efficient heat dissipation. Now, this is just talking about you have your five ports, you have your versatility capabilities. You know, we're talking about laptops and tablets, phones, watches, and more. It also has the multiple safety protection. So it's not going to overcurrent or over voltage or overheat or short circuit anything. It also has a 36 month warranty. And for transparency purposes, this is a paid review, but it's not a paid review where I'm going off of a script or what I can or can't say. It's my full on honest opinion and my experiences with this product itself. The fee is just to be shown on this size of channel. And I also just got word today that I got a code for everybody watching this video. So it is a 40% off code on Amazon. So I'll be placing that link and the code below inside the description, as well as the top pinned comment. And if you grab it from their website, that 40% discount code will automatically be added when you add the products to the cart. Now let's take a look at the display and the function of that little touch button area. Now, first off, here is a animation. If I was to double tap this little circle, it's able to change the animation of what you are viewing. If you tap on this button once, it'll show you the total output, meaning if you're charging anywhere between one to five devices, it's showing you the total output that is being charged. If you tap it one more time, this will be the individual output. This is where you'll have your C1, you also have your C2, the C3, and then as well as the A1 and the A2. Now, when it comes down to these ports, this one down over here has a small little icon letting you know that you can charge this with a laptop or you can charge it with a phone, letting you know that this is where you're able to get one of the higher output settings when it comes down to charging. So when it comes down to, this, to the C1, this will be for either a phone or a laptop. C2, this is gonna be for phones and tablets and such. And then C3, again, is for phone and laptop. Now let's take a look at some of the other animations. So we talked about that there is a few animations you can switch between. Here's that little rainbow fan that you're able to take a look at. Give this a double tap. Now you're gonna have him blowing some bubbles. Give this one another double tap, and then you're able to see this animation here. And then sometimes when you're doing absolutely nothing, maybe you plug this thing in and nothing is being charged. So let's say that we take a look at a different display. Now, sometimes if it goes back to the animation, it just kind of shows him that he is sleeping, meaning this thing is turned on, your display is turned on, but there's just nothing being charged. Or he might just look around trying to see what is about to happen. 
Now, another nice thing about this charger here is you have the versatility where if for some reason it makes a little bit more sense for your setup, if you have to rotate this. Now to rotate this, you tap this little circle area one, two, three times. So one, two, three. And then here you can see that this is working for this way. So then everything's all right side up there. Let's say that we do one, two, three. And now that I've tapped it three times, you can see that we are now right side up. So that means you can place it on your bottom, you can place it on the left side, or you can also place it on the right side. Give this thing a triple tap and it's able to rotate that display for you. Now with me here, I have a few things to charge. So I have a large laptop. I also have something smaller, which takes a smaller amount of charge. This is my square. Here is my fan slash flashlight slash portable charger. And then here is a laptop. This laptop here has to be charged with a USB type C and it has to have the higher amperage and the higher wattage in order for it to actually charge. If you plug in something that's smaller, it just won't give this thing a charge at all. That is why this one comes in handy, especially when we went out of town for Thanksgiving. I opened this up immediately because the wife was not able to find her charger. So I'm going to take this one here and it's retractable. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to plug in the laptop just so you can see how much wattage is going into it. So right now, here is the total output just by charging my tablet as well as the laptop. We're sitting in between 66, 69, 70 watts, 74. It just kind of moves around of what is being needed. If I tap on this little button, here is the individual. So you can see that the C2 is going at 26 watts. The C3, which is the laptop, is going at 42 watts, 56 watts, 66 watts. So again, if, if this thing was unlocked and it was connected to Wi-Fi and going, it would be going at that higher wattage. So there you go. You can see it going all, all the way up to 70. Now let's also plug in a couple more devices. Now that we have four products that are charging, this is a perfect and prime example to show off of all of the different charging standards that this charging station is able to do. I am charging something that is super powerful, which is the laptop, which needs to have a certain amount to even charge. And you can see that it's always floating somewhere between, you know, 38 or 36 at the lowest, up to 40. Then it goes up to, into the 60s and the 70s. This is a laptop, so it has to have a certain amount of wattage to get this thing charged up. Then we also have my C1 port. So the C1 port, that is the one that's plugged in. That is my fan. There is no changes. There is no variables. This one charges at 18 watts and that is it. So it's charging at exactly the output it's supposed to have. I'm also going with the smaller output here, which is my square. Now the square is kind of a little annoying. There is no turn off button. It is either on or it dies. Now, because it's dead, it's going to trickle charge a little bit just to get it to turn on. Then it's gonna charge closer to that five watts. So it's a perfect prime example to show you all of the different scenarios that you're able to plug into anything from something smaller over into something larger. So you can plug in your phones, your tablets, and then here is my tablet right here. And where my tablet is being plugged in is the C2. So my tablet right now is charging at 13 watts. Now this is what it looks like when you're charging your two most important devices or the largest devices. I have my tablet as well as my laptop. They're both being charged. The tablet, this one is being plugged into my C1 port. And then the laptop, this one is just plugged in with the given retractable cable, which is the C3. Now you can see the total output right now is right around 70 watts. When I press on this button once, it's gonna break everything down individually. So you can see my C1, which is going to be my tablet, is charging at 42 watts. And then the laptop, this one's charging at 28. Now just to prove that it's my tablet, that is the one that is being charged, at that 42 watt, let's say that I unplug, you'll see that now that C3 will be unplugged. Take a look. So now that the laptop is unplugged, we are still plugged into that C1. Then you can see how much wattage is going to this tablet. It's slowly moving back up to 40 or 42 watts. So we're at 37, we're up to 40, and now it's just sitting there. Now again, it's given you every single charging standard you're looking for. If it's Quick Charge 3.1 or if, in, if it's any of the power delivery systems, everything is right there all built in for safety. Now stripping it down just to the laptop. So here's my Type-C to Type-C cable. This one is plugged into that C1. We're charging at 36 watts. If I was to open up the laptop, you'll see that it'll go higher. Now it went up to 73 watts. Now, if I was actually using this running programs, doing everything, it would stay up at that again, keeping it and giving it its charge. Again, just showing how powerful and versatile this charging station is. Now to talk about all of the different ports and also the cables, I'm not going to go through every single situation where if you're charging one or two or three or five different devices at the same times, but I will go through a few different scenarios. Now, when you plug in right there, this is your C1 port. 
for a single charge, only one device being plugged in, this will give you the full 140 watt max. So again, this is probably the one that you'll use with a type C to type C cable. If you have one that can work with your laptop, if you don't have a cable, then you just use the one on the very top. Now this C3 one, this one will charge a laptop, but it has a max output of 100 watts. And then for this one, which is C2, again, for single charging, you'll have a full output of 100 watts with that one. And now looking at the front, when it comes down to your USB-A ports right there, so if you were to single charge in either the A1 or the A2, you'll get a max output of 30 watts. And so today, anyways, everybody has so many different cables to charge. So this right here just keeps everything all clean and tidy and organized. Also, phones don't really come with charging bricks anymore. So this is like a one and done purchase. You purchase this guy, you got your retractable cables that's able to charge. And also with all the different types of cables out there from watches and phones and tablets, then also with laptops, this right here is able to just get everything done and charged. Now, everything that you see right here was inside of this box. I don't have me unboxing this thing because again, we had to use it in normal, real life. So you'll have your box, you'll have your user manual. Here is your power cable. And then you also have the power station itself. And then also this silicon base, which again, you're able to magnetize to it. And then on the bottom, you're able to take this off and then you could put it anywhere you want to. So this way it's not going to move or slide around. So now that you have seen that there's two ports right there with USB-A, then you also have one port there for USB type C, and then you have two retractable cables on the top, again, able to be pulled out your 80 centimeters. So now that we talked about all of the cables and the ports and how fast they can charge, here is the charging guide. Now I'm not gonna go through all of these scenarios, but this will give you the details for if you're to do a single charge or charge two devices, three devices, four devices, or five. Now, when it comes down to that single port, just to give you as a reference, that C1 that we talked about where you have to plug it in, that max output is 140 watts. Now, because of all of the charging standards, now you have all the rest of these that are all kind of fixed out. You have the one that is the five volt at three amp, which is listed first. That means it goes at 15 watts. Then you have 18 watts. Then you have your 36 watts. Right, right next to that, that's gonna be your 45. Then you also have your 100 and then your 140. Now, when it comes down to your USB-C2 and the C3, which is those two cables on the very top, again, as I mentioned, the max output is 100 watts and you have everything broken down there. So you have your 15 watts, the 18 watts, the 36 watts, you also have your 45 watts, and then your 100. That is what all of those mean. Now, let's go down to the scenario of using two ports. If you use that USB-C1, which is going to be plugging in on the bottom, or if you use the, the USB-C2 or USB-C3, you're gonna go at 70 watt and 70 watt max. So if you plug in on that C1 down there on the bottom for maybe a laptop, and then you plug in any of these two on the top, uh, you'll be able to get your full 140 watts where both of those will go at 70 each. And then as you just go down the list, that's where you're able to just take a look at the rest of those. Let's take a look at one scenario for the port of three or the, the uh, charging three devices. So if you use that USB-C one, and then let's say that you use the USB-C two and then the USB-C three, which is the three most powerful, then you'll be charging at 20 watt, 20 watt, and then 100 watt. Now, if you do use the five port output, which is gonna be that C one, which is where you plug it in, and then your USB two and the C three, those are the two cables on the top and then you plug in on the front, which is the A1 and the A2, then what you'll get is going to be 20 watt plus 20 watt plus 80 watt, which that right there is 120 total. And then because you're using both of those USB, the, the A1 and the A2, you'll get 15 watt total, which will give you a full number of 135. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.